What up, you nerds? Fallout here, and today we're going to go over eight of my personal favorite exotic combos in Destiny 2. There are certainly more combos out there than what we'll cover today, but every combo in today's video synergizes well together and is extremely fun, in my opinion. We got PvE and PvP options on today's list, and with no time to waste, why don't we get going? First up, your Falcons and Graviton Lance. This combo gets a special shout out because it's about to get buffed to an insane level. But real quick, here's how the combo works. First, go in Invis with your hunter however you want. When you emerge from being invis, either via waiting out the timer or just shooting your weapon, your void weapons now have volatile rounds. Enter the Graviton Lance, which is already no stranger to causing explosions. Thanks to the perk Cosmology, any kill with the Graviton will cause the enemy to detonate and spawn high damaging void projectiles that track to nearby targets. Again, thanks to Jer Falcon, you're now adding volatile to the mix for extra void explosions literally for free. Volatile also allows you to deal with barrier your champions for free, which is a nice added bonus. If you have the Graviton Lance Exotic Catalyst, you'll also deal more damage to bosses in PvE and be able to get a free overshield. As already mentioned, this combo is going to go even harder in the near future as Bungie is delivering a whopping extra 67% outgoing damage buff to Graviton in the upcoming mid-season patch. And while the Cosmology Explosion damage is getting cut back in PvP, it's being left untouched in PvE. LDR, goddamn, that combo is about to get a whole lot better. And extra reminder, it pairs beautifully with the Season 21 artifacts. At the moment, Unto the Breach, Protective Breach, and Supernova create an unholy trinity of PvE Void Destruction. Generate a free Void Breach, get a brand new or refresh your current overshield, and now you'll also create a large weakening pulse with your next graph shot. Perfect combo. Get ready to try that out when the upcoming mid-season patch finally does drop. But before we get to combo number two, do you want healthy, good tasting meals without all the hassle of cooking? Well, good, because today's video is sponsored by Factor. Let's thank them. I've legit been using Factor for probably over a year now. And while I do love to cook, Anno and I love the convenience of being able to pop Factor into the oven roughly two nights per week and being completely done with dinner. With Factor, you can rest assured you're making a smart choice. They have calorie smart meals with or around less than 550 calories per serving. They also have protein plus meals with 30 grams of protein or more per serving. And the meals aren't random mush. They're fresh, never frozen meals designed by dietitians. Stuff you would want to eat. Check it out. This week I've got one I've never had before but really want to try. French dip style shredded beef. Hell yeah. Pop that bad boy in the oven for a few minutes and bam, dinner done. Factor cuts down on grocery trips and cooking so more time for you to enjoy summer while still eating good. Don't wait. Hit up my link in the pinned comment and use code FALLOUT50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and thank you again factor. All right, we back and moving on to a combo which was on many a player's radar for a while, but only recently got much better. I'm talking about Malfeasance and the Lucky Pants. Malfeasance is a 180 RPM kinetic hand cannon that fires out tainted slugs that dig into combatants. Stacking enough slugs causes them to go boom, which stuns the enemy and has the power to halt unstoppable champions. Thanks to Taken Predator, the gun deals extra damage to Taken enemies. And if you hate yourself enough to play Gambit, you can hit invaders harder too, I guess. But Malf also deals extra damage to enemies affected by Wither Horde, which isn't mentioned on the gun itself, but is a neat little tidbit. Now bring on the Lucky Pants. Readying our Kinetic Hand Cannon will make it so that each landed hit from that hand cannon will bump up the damage of our next shot for a short time. You also get better accuracy and extra aerial effectiveness, yada yada yada. But for PvE, we mainly care about the more damage part. With the Lucky Pants, Malf does significantly more damage and even more so thanks to its newly added exotic catalyst which flat out gives you Vorpal weapon. Quick reminder that while Vorpal gives special weapons a 15% damage buff and heavy weapons a measly 10%, primary weapons like Malfeasance get a 20% buff against bosses and mini bosses. So not only are you hitting harder thanks to the lucky pants, but any mini boss or boss will really feel the pain from your Malfeasance as well. God help that enemy if they're either taken or currently being a affected by a teammate's Wither Horde, because again, you will demolish them very quickly. I like pairing Lucky Pants Malf together with an auto-loading blinding grenade launcher, because that encourages a lot of weapon swapping, and again, you need to swap to your hand cannon to take advantage of the damage buff offered by Lucky Pants. Next up, something for my fellow warlocks out there. Chromatic Fire, and a lot of weapons actually, but my favorite of all of them being Wish Ender. If you don't like Wish Ender, first of all, you're a goddamn weirdo, but I'll give you two 
variant exotic pairings at the end of this section. Chromatic Fire, if you didn't know, recently got buffed so that it not only makes an explosion on a kinetic weapon headshot kill, but it now also has that explosion offer a unique effect depending on your subclass. Wish Ender is a tried and true top shelf kinetic primary for Grandmaster Nightfalls and other challenging PvE content. It hits really hard, shoots through enemies, has comically long range, and can break barrier champ shields. Since a lot of enemies get one banged in the head from Wish Ender anyway, might as well pair it together with a fun, unique explosion from Chromatic Fire. My two favorite pairings have got to be either Arc or Void. Arc allows you to create a large blinding explosion, and as we all know, blinding is a really powerful status effect in endgame PvE. Void, on the other hand, allows you to create a weakened explosion, which is equally fun. Void might actually take the cake in the current season though, as again the trifecta of Unto the Breach, Protective Breach, and Supernova on the artifact is really hard to ignore. Two bonus weapon pairings you can try with Chromatic Fire, Quicksilver Storm, and Outbreak Perfected. Now before you hit me with the, uh, actually content creator, Quicksilver Storm is Strand. I mean, you're correct about that, but remember that it only becomes Strand when you've applied the exotic catalyst, meaning if you re-pull Quicksilver Storm from collections and don't apply the exotic catalyst, you can keep the weapon and kinetic, which as a fun little side bonus allows you to deal 10% more damage to unshielded enemies in PvE. And I like that for no other reason than the fact that Quicksilver Storm is one of the best exotic primaries in the game right now. You can just use it as a grenade launcher every now and then for free. It's just really fantastic. The other bonus pairing is Outbreak Perfected, especially on a Void class when you've dished out a big batch of Weaken. The nanites generated by Outbreak will now flock to the weakened nearby enemies and gobble them right up. Next up, a little something for PvE. PvP, Reign of Fire and Vex Mythoclast. If you're a warlock and haven't tried this combo yet, you're missing out on some good, potentially rage-inducing fun. Reign of Fire makes it so that Icarus dashing reloads all your equipped weapons and improves the AE of both fusion rifles and linear fusion rifles. Final blows with those weapons also make you radiant or free. And while plenty of fusion rifles can benefit from this build, most of them are likely going to one-bang a guardian within the intended engagement range of the weapon anyway. Enter Vex Mytho. A very very easy to use exotic primary with respectable range and time to kill. With the exotic catalyst applied, you already got bonus damage, accuracy, and stability after a kill, but now with Reign of Fire added in, you're getting even more extra bonus damage thanks to becoming Radiant. TLDR, get one kill with this combo and you get plenty of free extra damage to rip through the enemy team even harder for a short duration. If you do run this build in PvP, be sure to put on the Ember of Solus Fragments to extend your Radiant duration even further. Now something for Titans, and I warn you, this one is kinda unconventional. An old exotic pairing that people really love to take advantage of in PvP was Lion Rampants and Dead Man's Tail. At the height of its power, DMT was really OP. You barely had to aim at all while in hip fire to get a cross map headshot, and the increased aerial maneuverability and perfect hip fire given by Lion Rampant made it so that you could do it all while high up in the air with little to no drawback. After a well needed nerf, though, DMT has fallen back a fair fair bit in the depth chart, and while you still can pair it together with the Lion Rampant, I don't really enjoy it as much, nor do I recommend it. However, one thing I found oddly enjoyable is Lion Rampant and Osteostriga. Yeah, I know, it's really wild and borderline dumb of me to recommend an SMG in PvP that isn't the Adept Immortal, but I'd bet a fat stack of cheddar that'll continually get nerfed as it continues its PvP leaderboard domination. For Titan players out there wanting to try something different and fun, Lion Rampant and Osteo scratched that itch, for me anyway. Without Lion Rampant, if you start to hip fire shoot in the air, you immediately begin to fall back down to the ground. But with the Lion equipped, you don't. You stay in the air a little bit longer while being able to fire and you have better in-air control. Enter Osteostriga. Now, the Osteo won't get the benefit of more accurate hip fire given by the Lion Rampant because Osteo already fires tracking rounds by design. But again, the fact that you don't start to sink out of the air the second you begin firing is really fun with Osteo. If your opponent makes one mistake when dueling you, they will die and you don't really have to aim at all. It also gives you opportunities to approach the enemy in different ways they might not expect. Trust me, don't knock it till you tried it. And speaking of Osteostriga, here's a very traditional pairing. Osteostriga and the Necrotic Grip. Osteostriga and Necrotic, if you didn't know, use the same poison effect and they work in tandem with one another. Pair them together and you're going to be chaining a ton of free poison damage throughout any activity you're in. Hard recommend that you pair this together with a high discipline strand warlock and
and the mind spun invocation aspect for PvE. Basically, you nom down your shackle grenade to activate Weaver's Trance, and now final blows will create a suspending detonation. This is literally some of the most free ad clear in the entire game. Non-stop proc and poison damage paired together with near constant suspend. This is a combo so good that Datto once said he would never use it because it's so effective it almost makes the game boring for him. I don't know about y'all, but that sounds like a ringing endorsement to blow through deep dives faster to me. Try it out. If you've never tried it before, you won't regret it. And on the subject of classic pairings, Actium War Rig and Thunderlord. I know, I can hear the groaning of many an LFGer by even mentioning that combo. Let me clarify, is this the hands down best DPS option as a Titan player? No, it is not. But is it an uber straightforward dummy easy forehead way of dealing respectable damage? Yeah, yeah, it is. Actium War Rig will steadily reload part of your equipped machine gun from reserves and Thunderlord not only hits hard, but will generate lightning strikes when you deal continuous damage. If you have a teammate on your team with Divinity, it makes dealing damage all the more easy, making even relatively tough fights like the recent exotic quest Tormentor boss fight turn into a complete walk in the park. Works very well with other machine guns too, both exotic and not. For example, the Xenophage and also the Retrofit Escapade. My final favorite exotic combo at the moment is for any player out there who wants to help contribute to dealing big boy damage but would rather do it from the support side of the team. I'm talking about the Cenotaph Helmet and Divinity. Divinity, despite the not too recent nerf, is still a really, 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 really good PvE weapon. Basically, it removes the need to aim at a boss or champion accurately, giving you a gigantic crit spot and making any enemy tagged by the Divinity receive an extra 15% more damage. Cenotaph, on the other hand, steadily reloads a portion of your trace rifle mag from reserves, allowing you to keep a target lit up without needing to awkwardly tap fire your Divinity. On top of that, beaming a champion with a trace rifle marks marks them, and when an ally kills a marked target, you get special ammo and your allies get heavy ammo. Talk about a completely free champion destroyer for you and the boys. And look at it this way, someone's gotta be the div bitch every now and then, might as well be you, and you might as well be the best one you can be. Have any favorite exotic combos I didn't mention? Tell me what they are down in the comments section and why you dig them. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you on stream.